specimen Tidal waves I've used up all my words I have nothing else to say So I sit here feeling stuck You're listening to live music by Maya Manser on KEXP. Just trying to hold on to a dream that once was a ringing. 
Listening to live music by Maya Manser on KEXP. You just heard Top of, Top of My Lungs and Sweet Hell. Both of those are from the new EP that's going to be released in April. I'm really glad that you are giving us a taste of the new songs here yeah. on KEXP. Uh, it's a real treat for me and for listeners, and it's really nice to have you here. So thank you so much. Oh, and also, I'm really happy that Second Skin has a release month. I know, finally. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> it's been a it's long happening. time. Yeah, it's been a long time coming, mm-hmm. so. How yeah. long has it been done? Um, Since the last 
March. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's Long been done time. For a while. So I'm really excited. Yeah. yeah. It's really great. Mm -hmm. So you've had some big changes that have happened. You yeah. just moved. Yeah. I'm in the process of moving down to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. um, super excited for the warm weather and um, just the new future prospects. What are those? Uh, I, uh, s certain... Some things you can't talk about. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. totally understand. Yeah, totally. Yeah, so. I, won't, I won't put you there. <laughs> so you are a multi-instrumentalist, mm -hmm. which I, I think is really cool. And so you moved here from Bend. Yeah. That's where you grew up. Mm -hmm. And you moved to Seattle for school. Yeah, I moved to Seattle for Cornish College of the Arts. Cool. Yeah. And so were you, had you always been performing when you were in Bend? Yeah, yeah. So... <laughs> Uh, I, I grew up performing, and um, I, I I know it was apparent when, because when I was four, uh, I couldn't take naps. I've never been able to sleep very well, and um, since I couldn't take naps, the teachers figured out that I could sing, so they would take me around to other classrooms um, in preschool and have me sing to those classes. So I'd say that's when I started performing. I was going to ask yeah. what was <laughs> when was your first performance? Probably around then. Cool. So, yeah. so you're four and you're running around oh, yeah. a preschool singing. What kinds of songs would you sing? Oh, I have no idea. <laughs> I have like no memory of it. It's, mm -hmm. it's, uh, I had, uh, my cousin had to tell me um, like years later, she's like, you don't remember going around and singing to classes like Seems every like day. Seems like a really long time ago. And I ago. was like, oh, I don't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. So, so you just really liked singing at, at that time and you just really just kind of moved into that process of... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't really become apparent for me until I was about six mm -hmm. <laughs> because I won a talent show and I was like, wow, I want to do this. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to do, so... Yeah. You like being in front of people? I just loved singing. Mm -hmm. I loved the feeling and I was delirious enough at that age not to <laughs> like have any, not to understand judgment. And so I was just like, oh, I like singing in front of all these people. Let me share this with you. And, you know, it's very pure at that age. Well, um, one of my first times seeing you was at a private brunch yeah. during Capitol Hill Block Party. Yeah. And... That was the first time I had ever seen you. And I'd heard your music before, but, you know, I hadn't seen you. Mm -hmm. And I was watching you, and I really I really liked it. I was like, she's she's pretty cool. I, I hope to see her again. And then just, you know, Second Skin came out as a single, and I thought it was really cool. And then I decided to book you at the community partnership show mm -hmm. that we put on. And you put on like a crazy, glorious performance. And I, I just really wanted to know your history on performing because you're really great at it. And you just have this like pop star quality. <sighs> and I, I've noticed that I've really started liking pop stars a lot. I and love so them. And so I guess my, my next question is like, do you have any performers that are inspirations to you? Oh, so I I do got to say, for me, I love Beyonce. I'm a huge Beyonce fan. Yeah. Um, but I will say that I got to experience going to the Grammys this past weekend. Did you see her performance? I saw her performance. And a lot of the performance, I know, I know Adele, I know she messed up or she had that little mess up, but her, she embodies also just so much. You just watch her and you're like, <laughs> it's, I think cool. it's because it, it, you can tell who's being genuine and who's being pure yeah. when they perform yeah. and who just lets go. Yeah. And I think that's, it, it's, it's a sound that travels for miles. Mm -hmm. um, and so there was that, and also even just the John Legend performance. I was like, oh yeah. my God, I, I had no idea just performing live, seeing these people, but yeah, again, huge Beyonce fan. Yeah. So, well, uh, watching people <laughs> can really affect, like, your, you know, the visual sense of everything. And yeah. I don't know, and, and then you hear it and you, I don't know. I've never seen Beyonce perform, but of course I love Lemonade and and mm -hmm. everything. <laughs> and just like, I don't know when I when I see her just putting everything into it, and then you hear these songs, and it's so wonderful. It's a nice visual. Oh yeah. Effect. Yeah. 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 
So you have um, Second Skin coming out in April, and you worked with someone pretty special on that. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about that? Yeah, yeah. I worked with producer Buddy Ross, and he just finished up the last Frank Ocean Blonde album. Um, I loved working with Buddy. He's just a super professional, and we clicked immediately, and it was just awesome. I... I <laughs> we're both goofballs, so like when we when we're working together, it just it just flows really well, and we can make weird sounds for like six hours straight. So, how did you guys working together come about? Uh, really funny. So I was at a feminist art show, and uh, with my boyfriend, and my boyfriend was like, "Oh, meet Buddy Ross," and I was like. Hi. And then I checked out his beats later and I was like, okay, we got to hopefully work together. <laughs> yeah. How much so, influence did he have on the EP? Um, I mean, we really worked hand in hand together on mm -hmm. it. Um, so we made decisions together on everything, but um, he had plenty of influence. I'm, you know, giving him songwriting credit and the whole thing cool. for his time and everything. So he's a rad dude. Well, mm -hmm. you are performing songs from the EP, so we yeah. should hear more. Yeah. My Mancer on KEXP.
My Answer on KEXP.
You've been listening to live music by Maya Manser here on Audio Oasis on KEXP. You just heard Second Skin and I Put a Spell on You. And both of those are from the Second Skin EP to be released in April as well. Second Skin is a really cool song. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That it just really got to me that time too. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I like it. it. It's like a song I really like playing on the show. And Thank you. I don't know, I guess it just you just do all the things in it that like hit the right thing. <laughs> <All> <laughs> Whatever the, that means, all right? Of the orchestration. Yeah, I yes. guess I don't know. I like yeah. your voice. I like how it flows. I like the ups and downs. I like how emotional it is. Thank and you. I don't know, it's fun to play, fun to turn up in the booth. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your songwriting process like? Um, it, it does tend to change each time. Um, oftentimes, though, I do come up with a, a hook. I can hear a hook in my head, and I will sometimes go off of that. Um, but I really, really prefer writing lyrics first. That's, they, I think lyrics matter a lot. Yeah. Um, and good ones, like, that really encapsulate the feeling I'm going for, yeah. um, then they will be everlasting for me. Do you, so, do you have like a book where you write down? Yeah, sometimes what I like to do is I like to just like, <laughs> just like word vomit on a page, like write whatever I'm thinking cool. all out on a page for like a couple of pages mm -hmm. and not try to judge myself because sometimes when you're writing like, that sounds stupid, you know, but don't even think about that. Just write, continue writing what you're, thinking and then I sometimes take little pieces out of that and then get inspired that's by awesome. the whole thing so yeah I liked hearing that yeah that's really cool mm -hmm. uh, I took a creative writing class and you just kind of took me back to the things oh, that right. we used to do in it yeah yeah really cool yeah those like writing class things sometimes they yeah they work I guess they work <laughs> I, we took a bird book and we just took a page and we just kind of like edited words out of it and then we wrote down all the words that we hadn't crossed out and oh. then we had these words and they just kind of came together as a poem it's awesome yeah that's such a cool way too yeah i gotta think about that weird random i things. like that i like that idea yeah <laughs> pretty cool um another thing that i thought i read is that you have some weird sounds that you like to use in your music too Oh, yeah. Well, I just like making sure because I do like making electronic music, but mm -hmm. I really like making sure that it still feels organic. Um, and I think that can be sometimes missing in electronic music. So, um, I mean, we've got some analog synths over here yeah. and we still use real drum kit. Um, but, yeah, I like actually using like the weirdest samples you can think of like in um the sweet hell recording we've got like a tree getting chopped down yeah. it's like a recording from the 1960s cool and in second skin there's um, a sound of a rocket taking off from the 60s as well so there's all these like really old field recordings that buddy ross just had <laughs> like sitting on like a huge hard drive cool <laughs> so yeah yeah fun to listen to mm -hmm. what's next for you um, let's see here. Well, releasing the EP, mm -hmm. releasing the music video. Um, I've got a couple of summer festivals that I'm playing. I don't know if I can announce them yet. But Just look out for you. Look out for me. Yeah. 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 So we'll get up on the online playlist where to find you. But we can yeah. also say myamanser.com. Yeah, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you, Charlize. Yeah. We're Very happy lovely. to be here. Should yeah. I introduce these guys? If you want to, yeah. I would love to introduce these guys. Yeah. I've got Kevin Lavin on the keys. <laughs> and I've got James Squires on the drums and the triggers and lots of buttons. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, thanks, Thank you guys. so much. Yep. Thank you. You've been listening to live music by Maya Manser on 90.3 KEXP Seattle. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.